Hello, my name is Rob McKenzie and I'd like to introduce myself to you. My introduction video will be a little bit different from yours because of the nature of the questions. First, I'd like to start by telling you I've been in the Department of Communication for 25 years. I've been chairperson for three years now. I taught mostly the broadcasting courses. I established the broadcasting concentration and I'm the one who initiated the founding of this class, Comparative Media. So the next thing I want to talk about is why I teach this class. It, it's because it's a passion of mine to take students overseas. I've been exposed to the world at a, at a fairly early age. I didn't start really traveling until I was 22. My parents are British, and although they raised us here in the United States, having emigrated through Canada, they moved back to Britain when I was a junior in college, and when I started to visit them in the south of England, I started to use that opportunity as a platform to jump across to Europe and to go to visit lots of countries. So I eventually ended up, when I became an assistant professor at Cal State University San Bernardino, I ended up chasing the Rolling Stones to go see them in Copenhagen, Denmark, and I did that by backpacking all over Europe, sleeping in train stations. So when we go to Copenhagen train station, I'm going to have that memory of coming out of the Rolling Stones concert and missing the last train and staying up all night long watching all people, people from all walks of life. I have a family. We live just two blocks from campus. In the background, you might be able to see the ESU smokestack. I walk to work as much as possible. My wife is Kelly McKenzie. She's a professor in the Department of Academic Enrichment and Learning. My daughter, Fiona, is a student at ESU in the communication major. She's taken this class along with us. And my son is also joining us on the journey. His name is Gordon. And so we all go together. I've taught this class in so many countries, including France, China, Ghana, the UK, St. Croix, Mexico, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and now Sweden. So I'm just thrilled to be teaching it in Sweden. What I'm looking forward to doing in Sweden is really just interacting with nature. Sweden is a very natural country, and you can see the Swedes really knowing their nature. They'll go for a walk in the woods, and they'll know exactly what berries to eat, what mushrooms to eat. They really care about their environment. You won't see a cigarette butt anywhere. You see hardly any advertising because they don't want it to encroach upon nature, and that's what I'm looking forward to in Sweden.